Hey guys, I've been using my uh, K Supreme here for about five weeks now, give or take. I don't know, maybe it's about six at this point. I wanted to talk about the over ice function. Uh, I have had, let's see, I've published, I don't know, three ish videos, maybe four, about the K Supreme and the K Supreme Plus uh, on this channel, and I've got a lot, way more comments than I expected. Lots of questions. Uh, so if I haven't answered your question, uh, I'm gonna try to get to it, um, but there's a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, and there was a lot of people asking about the over ice function, which I have talked about, but to be completely honest, yes, I have kind of glazed over it a little bit in previous videos because I don't like fully reviewing things that I haven't fully tested yet. So to help all of you guys out who care about the over ice function, uh, I have been testing it quite a bit and using it um, so that I can make this video. So here you go. Over ice button. This is going to be for the K-Supreme and the K-Supreme Plus. Now to be brutally honest with you, I've been using the K-Supreme more than the K-Supreme Plus over the past few weeks um, for no particular reason, but uh, that's what it is. Uh, but they are basically the same when it comes to the over ice function. There is only one option for over ice. You push the button and that's it. You don't have any uh, extra settings or choices to make on either the K-Supreme or the K-Supreme Plus. Uh, both of them brew about five and three quarters ounces of coffee when you use the over ice function. And it is the fastest brew setting of them all, although it's still kind of they still give you a lot of uh, grind to water time um, when you do over ice you start with a cup with a lot of ice uh, if you put a little bit of ice in there then the coffee is just simply going to melt it um, you have to have a lot of ice this is a large water cup it fits just fine under there uh, every travel mug that i have will fit under there the tallest ones you can pull this this out but point being put a lot of ice in there. What I have found when I use the over ice function is the water comes out slower and hotter at first. And then after about 30 seconds, the water starts coming out a little bit slower or excuse me, a little bit faster and not quite as hot. Like it really is a pretty interesting, uh, set of measurements that I've taken. Now you could say I got like water cups and things all over the place. I've been doing lots and lots of just plain water through the machine um, to test it. So um, I haven't wanted to put coffee pods in there simply because what, I'd just be wasting tons of coffee pods. But also I the coffee grind cools down the, uh, the water as it goes through. So by the time it gets to the cup, uh, you're getting a water that's already gone through coffee grinds. It's cool. I just, this gives me a more accurate reading. Um, when I run the over ice function, it takes 10 seconds before the water starts coming out. Now the first water to come out, let's call it about half. I didn't measure how many ounces it was, but about the first 30 seconds, the water comes out very, very slowly. And it comes out in my, my thermometer here is measuring it at about 165 degrees as it gets into the cup. Um, that is cooler than if you do regular coffee settings. So if you're brewing a six ounce cup of coffee, um, I've measured the water coming into the cup at about 171, uh, 170 degrees. If you're doing a 12 ounce cup, then the water is getting into the cup and it's about 175. And that kind of um, that kind of illustrates the fact that the water, when you hit the brew button, the water comes out of the reservoir and it, you know, it cycles through a coil, a heating coil before it gets pumped through. Well, that heating coil has got to warm up. So the very first water that comes out, is probably not quite as hot as it is after a couple ounces have gone through. So you can actually see the temperature in your cup change when you switch from a six ounce to a, to an eight to a 10 to a 12, like the, the cup temperature actually is warmer. Um, the five and three quarter ounce over ice setting, however, um, it goes through that coil slower. So it kind of comes, I mean, it comes out 
cooler than regular coffee, but hotter than the second half of the over ice. So my thermometer's showing it at about 165 for the first two and a half to three ounces of water that come out in the over ice setting. And then the next little bit that comes out brings the temperature down closer to about 150 to 152, um, which is significantly cooler than the rest. Now, of course, the point of that, the first flow um, has to be hot to start the ex a proper extraction, but it also needs to be slow. Like you need to have a lot of water to coffee grain contact to get desirable flavors to extract out. Now, of course, that hotter water is going to go into fresh ice and it will start melting it. And then once everything's properly warmed up, then it's going to start shoving extra water that's not quite as hot in theory to not melt all of your ice. Um, the whole brew process for five and three quarter ounces takes um, a minute and three seconds. Uh, it, the first 10 seconds is a warm up time and then a minute and three seconds of water is flowing through and the whole thing is done in a minute and 13. So it's really fast, but you get a solid minute of water to coffee grain contact time, which is nice. In case you're wondering about coffee size, uh, your only size option, like I said before, there's no options to choose from. Your only size is five and three quarter ounces. Now I'm kind of guessing on that. It's not stated anywhere that I can see, but it's what I've been measuring with my little measuring cup here, about five and three quarters. And again, I think that's because they want you to use a cup that's got a lot of ice. So if you're using a cup that's got a lot of ice and they're shoving a ton of coffee into it, they don't want overflow. They don't want us to be dumb, I guess. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like right here. I just open that up. Um, I personally never brew iced coffee or over iced coffee. I do this just for you guys. So uh, I will still drink it though. Over ice, start. And again, it's only gonna take 10 seconds. And I'm gonna grab the camera here so you can see. So you can see the first drips come out and it's really coming out slowly. And as it brews for a little bit, the flow speed is going to speed up. And while it speeds up, that's when the temperature of the water of starts dropping. Of course, if they were pumping out 175, 180 degree water the whole time, you would get much more ice melting. And also, if they put a lot of coffee in there, then more ice would melt and it would water your coffee down too much. Another reason to have a smaller portion size. But that's it. As you can see, the coffee comes in and I still have a ton of ice and my cup is cold to the touch. So that is it. Um, iced coffee. Tastes just fine. It's just not hot. Not my cup of tea, uh, but I'm sure it is yours. Um, I think that this is great, honestly. Uh, in the very beginning, I was a little bit weirded out that you couldn't change the cup size, but it does make sense after having used it for a while. You really don't want too much coffee coming out into your ice because you're just going to need an enormous cup of ice if you're going to brew like, say, like a 12 ounce um, like a 12 ounce iced coffee. Um, also you don't want that coffee coming out too hot because then it's just going to melt your ice. So it does taste just fine. Uh, the slowness of that first part of the brew really does the job. 
there's going to be a difference between this and uh, cold brew coffee and in the future at some point i'm going to uh, publish uh, another video comparing the two uh, because there is a significant difference in the brew uh, in the flavor of the coffee and just how the coffee extracts so uh, i hope if this video if this channel is new to you you'll hit the subscribe button and uh, wait for that video when it comes out and uh, if you found this video helpful at all i sure hope you do um, hit the like button and hit the subscribe and please watch some of my other archive stuff and anything else coming out down the road i appreciate your time and i will see you in the next video oh yeah hit the comments down there i know there's going to be a ton of comments a uh, ton of questions so if you're curious about iced coffee and how these machines um, make iced coffee um, there's probably going to be lots of people asking some questions. I'm going to be answering as many of them as I can down below. Hopefully everything, all of your questions uh, will be answered down there. Um, if you don't see your question, leave it and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you again and I will see you in the next video.